Beyonce flashes it all on stage. Britney Spears is a klepto, plus the amazing success of the Spice Girls reunion tour, and Lindsay Lohan doesn't do drugs or bras. All in episode 37 of The Sean O'Donnell Show. No longer content to express her insanity in the form of buying dogs and looking like a mess, Britney Spears has turned to a life of crime. Over the past few weeks, Britney has stolen a wig from the Hustler store, several jackets from a designer, and has now had the nerve to rob a convenience store of a lighter. You always look great, Britney. I'd go with stupid, but whatever. I sort of miss the old Britney that would satisfy her craziness with self-mutilation and vandalism. It's probably best that we let this whole Winona Ryder phase run its course. So if Britney does come into your place of business, just make sure you glue down all the wigs, smoking paraphernalia, and Frito-Lay products, and you'll be fine. In a world of sex tapes and music video smut, Beyonce has always stood out as a role model for young women everywhere. It's no surprise then that her concerts are one of the greatest values in family entertainment today. For your kids, there's synchronized dancers and pop music. And for you, there's stripper poles and full frontal nudity. DrunkenStepfather.com has the pictures of Beyonce either performing at a concert or practicing her tertiary career as a weekday afternoon stripper. You decide. Now that Lindsay Lohan is rehabbed, she's getting back to work in an ultra-glamorous high-dollar ad campaign. And while Lindsay's ditched the coke parties, booze, and clubbing, she apparently still fancies having unprotected sex with Spider-Man. Oh, and not wearing bras. Here's Lindsay on her way to dinner at Koi, keeping it real for her fans. After all, being a braless party girl is what made Lindsay famous. That's what we signed up for. So if she's going to ditch the partying, she's got to do something to stay with her roots. It would be just like Kim Kardashian suddenly hiding her ass, or Dane Cook actually being funny. Finally, the Spice Girls reunion tour is in full swing, and boy, are people excited about it. During a recent stop in Vegas at the Mandalay Arena, the Spice Girls enthralled a half-empty auditorium with their dancing and shrieking. The lackluster success of their reunion tour isn't limited to just poor concert attendance. Their comeback single, Headlines, Friendship Never Ends, is the worst-selling Children in Need song of all time. Which leads me to the obvious conclusion that the Spice Girls make people hate children. Till next time, I'm Sean O'Donnell, and that's the show. Good? Yeah. Done.